What's up, beautiful people? My name is Sable, and welcome to my channel, Curls of a CPA, where I take you on my perfectly imperfect journey, and today is wash day. Yes, today is wash day, and I'm going to be showing you guys my winter routine using my old favorites from Camille Rose Naturals. Now, these products I actually used in my very first wash day video in 2018. I'll link it above and down below, but the formulas have changed since then. And so we're gonna find out if these are still my favorites and if they're worth your coin. Before we jump into the video, make sure you're subscribed to my channel and that you punch the notification bell. I have a ton of amazing things planned for February, which you do not want to miss. So just punch that notification bell so that you are notified when I upload new content. And now let's jump into the video. <laughs> To start my wash day, I pre-pooed and detangled my hair using the Soltanicals Master Cleanse. I will include the link to the full review and demo in the cards and down below, but I can't even front y'all, that pre-poo was fire. It had great slip and kind of acted as my first cleanse, so I'm pretty sure I only have to shampoo once today. Now, since I had a meeting, I just twisted my hair up and put on my cap to just trap in some of the moisture. And then this is me two hours later, ready for wash day. My hair still feels moisturized and it has retained a little bit of water, which is a great starting point, especially if you have low porosity hair like I do. Even though my hair is still a little damp, I like to fully saturate my hair with water before I shampoo. It helps the shampoo to spread through the hair with ease and also helps with curl definition if that's something that you're looking for. And if you struggle to get your hair soaking wet, just try to squeeze your hair a little bit, kind of like what you do when you're trying to saturate a sponge. When you squeeze it, it just gives it a little more encouragement to, you know, get them water in them strands. Now that my hair is soaking wet, I'm gonna go in with the Camille Rose Naturals Sweet Ginger Cleansing Rinse. And the highlighted ingredients are castor and aniseed oil. And this cleanser is made with crushed sweet ginger and invigorating lemon peel crafted to cleanse strands without stripping moisture. As you've probably heard me mention a couple times before, this was one of my favorite shampoos. And I was a little weary when I heard that the formula of one of my faves had changed, but I decided I'm gonna keep an open mind and I bought the new formula. Now for this wash day, I'm actually partnering with my girl Rax Real to show you all how these products work with various hair characteristics. So make sure you check out her video to see what she thought about the shampoo and the other products. I will link her video in the cards and in the description box below. But let's see if I still like the shampoo. My first impression is that I don't care for how thick it is. The previous formula was so much more like, what's the word, runny? <laughs> it was almost like a water to foam type of shampoo and it was so much easier to work through my strands. As you can see, I had to open up my twist to really work the shampoo in. But once I did that, the suds were everywhere. And y'all, <laughs> this shampoo actually has a little bit of slip too. As you can see, I am able to lightly run my fingers through my hair, which is always a plus for me. It also has a nice and soft and almost like luxurious but also thick lather. But you can definitely tell that this is on the clarifying side. And thankfully, when I rinsed out the shampoo, my hair still felt good. It felt hydrated and clean, and I was able to run my hands through my hair as I rinse. Sometimes with clarifying shampoos, when the water hits it, the finger detangling ends. But with this one, because it kind of stuck around for a little bit and it was low key hard, to, it took a while for me to rinse it out, I was still able to finger detangle and get those tangles that are caused by scrubbing the scalp. I was able to get those out with ease and my curls are still clumped. I got some movement and most importantly, my hair is not stripped. <laughs> Some of the complaints I heard about the shampoo was that it was stripping. So I made sure that I used a moisturizing pre-poo treatment to avoid that super stripped, squeaky feeling. And it worked. My hair feels cleaned, not stripped, and dare I say, a little hydrated as well. I still prefer the old formula because it had more slip and it was more moisturizing, but I can get with it's not so slippery sequel. <laughs> Just make sure that your hair is soaking wet when you're applying it and you'll be fine. Next, I'm going in with the Camille Rose Naturals Moroccan Pear Conditioning Custard. And the key ingredients in this are Moroccan pear and cherry kernel oil. Ooh. Now this conditioner was made to nourish dry strands and promote accelerated hair growth with potent B vitamins and of course the Moroccan pear and cherry kernel oils. <laughs> 
And y'all, this is one of my favorite rinse out conditioners. It's not super thick, so it easily works through the hair, but it's also thick enough where it kind of clings to your hair. And it is so slippery. Talk about slip drip. <laughs> I was able to glide my hands through and my brush through without any issues. Like it was really easy, just like I remembered. And when I say it is softening, when this conditioner hit my hair, it just made my hair feel very yummy. This conditioner also gives good moisture. If your hair isn't in desperate need of like a deep moisture treatment, or if you're doing maybe like a midweek wash, this is a good conditioner to use because when you rinse it out, your hair is gonna feel nice, soft, and you know, lightly moisturized. Overall, I would definitely recommend this conditioner. Last but not least, I'm gonna go in with the Algae Renew Deep Conditioning Mask. And the key ingredients are cocoa and mango butter. And this is a vitamin packed treatment infused with botanical blue green algae and emollient mango butter crafted to prevent strands from breaking, shedding, and thinning. And y'all, this is one of my favorite deep conditioners. I don't care what the haters may say. <laughs> you need to try this at least once in your natural hair journey. No matter what number, letter, porosity, density you identify with. And when I say it is slippery, talk about the slip. I'm telling y'all, I'm putting that on a t-shirt. Slip drip. And I'm just working the mask in, making sure that every strand is coated. And if there's a section that feels like it's lacking, I just add a little more. This product is one that you can apply generously and still have a ton left. So have your way, friend. Have your way. And after working the product in, I'm just twisting my hair into five sections. This makes it easier for me to like fit my hair under the cap. And then I'm just gonna take a shower, deep condition for about an hour with my heating cap and come back. And here I am one hour later and my hair has absorbed most of the mass. Like my hair feels really, really good. <laughs> it feels soft and as soon as the water hit my head, I already knew the love was real. <laughs> All jokes aside, this mask is a great addition to your protein moisture balance wash day. And it will leave your hair soft, moisturized, clumped, and with a little bit of weight to it. Not like product buildup weight, but you know that good weight that y'all know. If you know, you know, okay? Overall, I would definitely recommend this deep conditioner. And y'all, don't forget to check out my girl Rack's video as well. I hyped this mask up so much that she ended up buying it. And I'm super excited to see what she thought. Like I said before, her video will be in the cards and in the description box below, but I'll also include her video on the end screen so you can watch it next. But that's it guys. I'm just going to continue thoroughly rinsing my hair out and getting ready for my styling. If you're interested in seeing what leave-in and stylers I use next, make sure you're subscribed and that you punch the notification bell so you know when that goes live next week. I may or may not be doing a comparison video, so stay tuned. And as always, let me know in the comments if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, or suggestions. And until next time, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'm sending you all peace, love, and good hair day vibes. Bye.